Hey guys, I'm excited to try MagSafe wireless charger on my Pixel 4. I hope it will work and if it works, I'm going to keep this Anchor Mac Go for my Pixel 4. In order this to work, you need also the magnet rings here. I have the Mophie's snap rings here, which they cost around like 15, 17 euros in Germany. You can buy also cheaper ones. And this will attach on the back of my Pixel 4 or Pixel 6. And then the anchor, the Maco, will attach to this ring here. So it will be able then wirelessly charge my phone. So what you need is a wireless capable Android phone. Then a wireless charger like anchor Maco that I have here with the capability of the MagSafe. And the snap ring, this magnetic rings that you can attach on your phone or on your cases. It also can work on the cases, depends on the thickness of your case. After you attach these magnetic rings, actually you can use different sort of uh, accessories that are available for iPhones on these Android phones or these Pixel phones which I have here. So let's just not waste time and start with this experiment and see if it will work or not. I will start with the unboxing of this Anchor's Mac Go wireless charging with MagSafe capability. Let's see what we have inside of the packaging here. I'm doing it opposite actually here. Inside the packaging we have the user manual here. If you're interested, actually it also shows that it has a, this stand feature, which was all, also I liked it about it, that we can put it as a stand, you can charge it, you can do it in portrait mode, also in the Latin escape mode. I will show it later, hopefully if it works. Here we have the wireless charger itself. I took this green color. I like the color of this uh, wireless charger here from Anchor. It's a light green. And it costs around 59 euro in Germany. It's actually 10 euro more than the other colors. And I like the texture here. It's a little bit rubbery. I know this uh, soft in this material from the uh, Surface Arc mouse is exactly the same rubbery feature here. And here, of course, you have the magnet here from this uh, wireless charger, which will attach to this snap ring that we have. And that will attach to our phone with the glue kind of. And here, this anchor, this uh, wireless charger has this stand feature. I want to figure out how it works. Yeah, that's how it works. Now it has the possibility to stand. And I have to try this out to see how stable is it after you attach your phone. It doesn't feel that stable right now. Maybe with the phone and the weight of the phone, it will be a little bit more stable. Let's see what we have on the bottom of this charger. We have the USB-C port, which you can also charge your devices using this USB-C port. And there's also the bottom here to turn it on and show the battery indicator here. There are some LED indicators showing the percentage of the battery that this uh, wireless charger has. This magnetic battery has 5000 milliampere for our uh, battery capacity. It has a USB-C input of the around 12 watt. Also, the output is 12 watt, and the wireless output is 5 watt, maximum 7.5 watt. So it's not the fastest, but this stand feature and the color was a little bit tempting for me. So let's continue with the unboxing. Of course, we have also our USB-C to USB-C cable here. It's also not the shortest cable, which comes with these uh, packages. So that was it all included inside of this box. Of course, we have the magnetic charger here from Anchor, Mac Go, and also one USB-C to USB-C cable. The first thing that I want to check is if this magnetic charger from Anchor will wirelessly charge my phone without this snap magnetic rings that I bought from Mofi. As you guys see also here that this Anchor is able to wirelessly charge my phone. Of course, the magnets are not attaching to my phone because my phone doesn't have the magnets like the iPhone has, but it is able to wirelessly charge it. And that's the main point of this video and this experiment here. I want to see if it will also able to charge the Pixel 6 the same way that it did the Pixel 4. And I can also hear it, it's already charging, so it also works also with the Pixel 6 and it will work actually with any Android phone that has the wireless capability. But here again, there's no magnet on the Pixel 6 and it will fall down 
if you just try to uh, attach it like I think that. that you should also pay attention before buying this anchors magnetic uh, wireless charger is the width of this uh, device and the width of your phone uh, the wideness of your phone so with the pixel 6 here if i put it on top of the pixel 6 here you guys will see that there's a lot a little, a little bit of space also from the sides here so it fits perfectly it's similar to what you can see in the pixel 12 but for my pixel for my own device here you guys see that it matches exactly the same dimension so i'm a little bit lucky that it fits here if it my pixel for a little bit narrower then i would have problem here for the rest of this video actually i will continue with the pixel 4 but the pixel 6 will work exactly the same so let's now check the magnets on this uh, anchor i have this magnet paper which shows the magnets and as you guys see that is clearly how the magnet looks like exactly the shape that you find in the iphone and you guys see that in the pixel we don't have the magnets here let's now continue with unboxing this this mophie snap rings which I bought also from Amazon for around 17 euro I think. I think you can find them also cheaper. Also there are other alternatives which also cost less money. But here the packaging looks fancy. I could say that there's a user manual here which shows I think how to uh, align this uh, magnetic rings on your phone. I think this is also alignment help like to show to help you to align your uh, rings on your phone and of course we have here two magnetic rings here which will attach to my phone and the magnets then will attach to this uh, anchors mac go device so there is not that much to see here two magnetic rings and alignment helper to help you to attach it on your device of course i can check also here with this magnetic paper how the magnet looks like here as you guys that is clear how the magnet looks like the big question for me is where to attach this adhesive stripes here so when it's attached you cannot remove it the problem is shall i attach it on the back of my phone or back of my case inside of my case i can put it inside but as you guys see that it doesn't close properly and i'm using my phone anyway these days without the case that more often so i would prefer actually to attach it or like with this adhesive stripe attach it to back of my phone like this so it will be like this then i can attach it to this magnetic uh, charger and it will work with other accessories as well actually i decided to do it a little bit different i will first attach these magnets to this wireless charger and then i will attach this wireless charger to my phone and this adhesive stripes or rings will attach to my phone the most important thing is to know the alignment here so i will put some marks here where i know that this wireless charger is charging my phone so i will snap it back exactly the same location let's just start with the whole process here first i will attach this snap rings to the anchor mac go wireless charger here so it attached perfectly then this is the adhesive stripped part which will kind of glue to my phone which you cannot move it afterwards so it's important that to use these marks that i have to align it exactly where i put the marks that it will wirelessly charge my phone so the location looks actually good i have to turn it on and after i turn it on now it's charging but i have the feeling that it is not completely in the right location here let's see if it works if i put and take this uh while let's charge it out here if it is attached to my phone or the magnets will be stronger than this adhesive stripe right now that's an important part to check it out now it works so it was able i was able to attach it put it back and the wireless charging works but i have the feeling that it's not in the exact right location okay now it shows that the adhesive service was not really strong there but maybe I didn't push it enough. I will try it one more time to see if it will work. So let's see if now this uh, snap rings are strong enough to attach my phone when I 
take out or pull out this magnetic charger. I want to see if it charges, if it's aligned perfectly. And if this adhesive is strong that it attaches to my phone uh, for the many cases that I will attach this magnetic charger and take it out. So that's a real life usage here. As you guys see, the adhesive stripes now work as they intended to. But I have still the feeling that the alignment is not correct. I think I have to move this ring. I hope that it will work when I take out it again, this adhesive strap and attach it one more time. I hope that the glue that is there will attach again. I have to try that out. Maybe the battery is here low. Maybe I have to charge it. Maybe I can try that out also. Maybe then it will be fixed. But I think the problem is the alignment here. I can also try to use this stand here that comes with this anchor Mac Go. As you guys see that it the whole purpose is that it will stand like that and it can charge your phone in portrait mode. And also you can attach it in the uh, landscape one which is also nice if you're watching something I really like the idea of it but it's not charging here I think I have to redo this alignment right now so I took out the snap ring and I attach it one more time it's now a little bit lower positioned and now it works much better so now I can attach it on my back of the phone in this case it immediately charges and also rotate it like this, it still charges. That was the whole point that I had an issue before. Now I can use the stand and put it in the landscape mode, watch something and also wirelessly charge my phone. I want now to see if I put my phone inside of the case here, if I'm going to able to use this magnetic Mac Go here. No, it is charging but it is not strong here. So the magnets on back of my phone here will not work. Maybe if I attach it on back of the case, it will work. I'm really happy about the result of this experiment and I'm going to keep this Anchor's Mac Go wireless charger for my personal use for my Pixel 4 here. And hope you guys also enjoyed this video and you might also use these accessories that are made for iPhone actually for Android phones. So that was it for this video. Hope to see you guys in the next one and don't forget to subscribe.